What's up guys? It's Tuesday morning, almost 11. I'm heading out to do just a small little run in the area because for some reason stuff around here doesn't want to open until 11. Uh, I spent a lot of money in the past couple weeks and haven't had a lot coming in because I've been slacking on the selling front. But it is what it is and we're going to change that this week. But I still have to do my due diligence and go out and see what I can find. So I'm gonna hit up uh, Walmart, Target, maybe Best Buy, uh, Savers, and maybe a second Target. We'll see. Uh, I probably will hit up the second Target just because it's really only like a 10 minute drive down the road from where I am. Uh, but looking for anything in, spe in specifics, in particular, particular, yeah, that's the right word. Uh, at Walmart, I hope to find the classic Masters of the Universe, although as far as I know, they are not currently shipping to my area because it's a warehouse issue. At least that's what the guy at Walmart told me last time I was there. How much truth there is to that, who knows. Um, I'm also looking for the Super Shredder still. If I can find him, cool. If not, I'll order him this week on the NECA website because they're doing the pre-orders for them to come out again in December um, and it's retail plus shipping so not really a big deal uh, what else I don't know oh the the NECA King Kong if I find him I would like to pick him up but aside from that we'll see what we find uh, I'm looking for some stuff to make money and uh, yeah so come along for the ride and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, so first stop Walmart was a bust. There's still nothing new pretty much on the shelves there. Uh, they did have one thing though. I asked the girl if I could take and she said, absolutely. And it's the display for the classic GI Joes. Uh, it was empty and I asked if I could have it. And she's like, yeah, go ahead, no problem. So I took it. So, I got something out of the deal. Cool, cool. Alright, uh, at Target, I got the NECA stuff. A lot of the same, same, nothing new. Did find this guy sitting here, though. Too bad I already have him. So... I don't know, maybe I'll grab them for a trade, see if anybody I know needs them. Let's keep looking. Alright. And this guy, doesn't seem to be very, very hard to find, I've seen him a couple times. Uh, pretty bare. I don't know if they put on any new stuff. Uh, wrestlers. Same old, same old as far as I know. Rick Rude. Yeah, look at that guy. Uh, All right, uh, like I said, I don't do much Legends, but <laughs> this Sunfire is awesome. I read this, this was one of the last comic books I actually read, was the Age of Apocalypse uh, series. So, tempted, tempted to get him, but I might play the long game. Uh, and they have the Morph, and the X-Men, and Wild Child, who... When he was, the other figure came with, came with Sabretooth, which was kind of cool, so. Let's see what else they got. Uh, uh, Black Widow's still hanging around. Squirrel Girl. Do, do, do. Transformers. Nothing new since last time. All right, I think we're gonna head over to the other target and see what we find. Ever walk up on one of these?
and a lot of stuff. It's funny, I don't do the cartoon series, but those are the ones I keep finding. Let's see what else is in here. I found one of these in the bottom. I kind of want it. Not sure, maybe. In the bottom of the box. Yeah, yep. Cool, cool. What's up guys? So I'm out uh, Wednesday morning and I'm going to go to <clears throat> a couple different targets I haven't been to in a while and see if they have anything I'm looking for. Um, I'm looking for obviously the Baroness G.I. Joe classified series is starting to pop up places. I checked Pop Finder and it's not showing up anywhere around me as of yet, but it has hit the East Coast because somebody down, down in Maryland found a couple today or yesterday. So she is starting to pop up. So if you're looking for her, keep your eyes out for her. Uh, if you find an extra one, let me know. I will buy it. Uh, and pay you shipping on top of you know retail hopefully um, but yeah so I'm going there and going to a Walmart I haven't been to in a while and I'm going to go to my buddy's shop in uh, who's he in Easy, Easton so get a little bit of footage of all that and hopefully we find something cool today if not it is what it is so We'll uh, go take a look and come along for a ride. I'll see you guys soon. Later. At Target, just found these guys finally. Yeah. And grabbed two sets. Nice little G.I. Joe Nanos. Very excited to find these. It's nice to see more and more G.I. Joe stuff out. And looking at NECA. Oh, they have the Zilla I want. I might grab them. It's the first time I've seen them in a while, and since NEC is not doing the Godzilla stuff anymore, uh, probably not a bad idea. 40th anniversary line. Uh, you got Predator. It's the Shin Godzilla. Bob Ross. Sam Hellraiser. I've got him, buddy. He's badass. So, let's keep going. Alright, Walmart number two. Only Batman. But this is cool. One whole set. You can do this too. Uh, cars, cars, cars. And empty shelves everywhere. <laughs> the moon tunes, nothing. Uh, well, the sky slants. You know what we're looking for. These guys again. Snakes. Some transformer stuff. But no mode two still. What's up guys? It is 9 a.m. on Friday. Uh, what is today? The 21st. Uh, so in my area, the Baroness with the Cobra Coil finally started popping up. And I checked first thing this morning. I wasn't going to because I couldn't really get out. And because uh, I have my little bear in the back seat. Uh, they popped up. One place had one each and another place had three. Um, so I called and they said they had two. So I decided to pack them up and head over. Well, I get here and it was quarter to nine and there's two other guys standing at 
the electronics counter, saying they were all, you know, we're all there for the same thing. So I was the odd man out, unfortunately. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I went, you know, down in one of the toy aisles just to see what else was there. And I asked the guy who works there to see if he could check in on the store. And as he was checking, he was also telling me they were supposed to get more in on Monday. Uh, one of the guys who was before me in line came back and he said, hey man, I've already got one. I was grabbing this for a friend, but I'll keep looking. So there it is. So the guy was nice, super nice guy. Um, I can't thank him enough, uh, you know, to pass one on to another collector. I mean, for all he knows, I was reselling it, which I'm not. This guy, or girl, <laughs> is going into the collection. So there are still awesome people out there. Uh, karma goes a long way, so I hope he gets his whatever he's looking for next and finds it with ease. So that one is a huge weight off my chest because uh, I don't want to pay scalper prices. And I, you know what? Next week, she might be super easy to find, and this was all for nothing. So it is what it is, but life of a toy hunter. What are you going to do? Later, guys. Hey, guys. So I just wanted to show you what I got on uh, today's hunt and a few things that I've gotten in uh, in the mail and one thing I got by itself last week. Um, so I'll just kind of show a few things I got off camera, too. I uh, grabbed this guy from GameStop. Paid 12 bucks for it because I had my $5 monthly coupon. Uh, I do love the Castlevania game uh, games, obviously, and the... Um, the cartoon on Netflix. If you haven't watched it yet, definitely check it out. Um, she's in it, and definitely good show. And these figures are awesome. The Diamond Selects. <clears throat> so I got that. Got this guy in the mail. It's the uh, Conehead Seeker Two Pack. It came from Amazon. It's an Amazon exclusive. So luckily, mine was shipped in a box. I know some people's were just shipped with a label right in the front. Um, luckily, mine was not. A uh, nice pre-order piece. Going to be hard to get in the future, I think. Um, <clears throat> grabbed this guy at Best Buy on clearance. Paid like 6 bucks for it. As you can kind of see here, I have a little bit of a ghost collection going on. I just like the ghosts, so I pick them up when I see them. And this guy was cheap, and I didn't have the little one. Uh, these, I don't remember if I have footage of or not. Uh, if I do, you would have seen it. If not, then it is what it is. Grabbed these guys. The G.I. Joe, what are these, the Jada? Yeah, Jada die-cast vehicles. They're about the size of a Micro Machine, give or take. Uh, this is the only time I've seen them. I grabbed both packs that were there because uh, I have friends that look for these, and, you know, it never hurts to have doubles for trade stuff either. So, <clears throat> very cool on those. Uh, my Godzilla collection is insane, but I grabbed this guy. Uh, this is the the orange version, the glow orange. Big Godzilla fan, as you guys know, so very glad to find him, because NEC is not doing the Godzilla stuff anymore, so if you see it, you might want to pick it up. They have some stuff that's still trickling out that was already done under their license, uh, so you'll see that. Uh, this one I got really lucky on last Friday. I went, uh, I woke up Friday and decided to check, uh, was that Pop Finder, and saw that a, one of the location, target locations near me had three of these in stock. So I called just after they opened and I talked to a girl and she said they had two and they won't hold them. I'm like, okay, so I get there. Well, you guys saw the video. I got there and I was third. Some guy was really nice and I ended up getting the Baroness Cobra Coil two pack. Yeah, sorry, she's all weird. I put her on the bike. Um, so really nice figure, really articulated. These G.I. Joe classified figures are awesome. Let's see if I can. The detail on these is great. The articulation is insanely awesome. Uh, here's the box. Because I open most of my toys now. Uh, and it's just the back. So, uh, very happy to get that. I know a lot of people don't like the bike. It's kind of big and clunky. But it's alright. I like it. It's, it's, you know, nice. I might put one of my troopers on it. I gotta find a new place for the Joes already because I'm running out of space for these guys. And I still have, you know, the second wave coming in. Uh, so let's fast forward to today. Um, I know I've been doing these one day hunts, but sometimes I just don't get footage. 
um, or it's not enough to put together a video, so I figured I'd throw it all together. Uh, walked into Target, as you guys saw in the video. Grab two of these. They're both spoken for, as I drop one. Um, the case was brand new. Uh, these come in a big shipper box. So if you're ever looking for the NECA stuff, they sometimes put it on the floor. The Target near me apparently just leaves it on the floor. Uh, so this is the second time I've walked up on one of those unopened boxes. It basically got my pick of what I wanted. Um, but I grabbed those because I had friends that asked me specifically while I was out if I found them to pick them up. So I did. And like I said, those are spoken for, so sorry guys. Uh, I found this guy. The King Kong was in the box. There was two of them. I only needed one. Uh, very happy to pick this up with the glare. It's kind of hard to see, I know. Sorry. Um, this was one of the last NECA figures I wanted. Well, not last, because they're going to be doing figures for a long time, I would assume. Uh, but, gotta love the King Kong to go with my Godzilla stuff. Uh, and this guy, I... I don't know, I was kind of torn on whether I wanted to get it or not. And, I think I just nope, I didn't. Is the Halloween 3... Season of the Witch 3-pack. Um, this Halloween movie has nothing to do with the rest of the Halloween movies. Michael Myers is not in it. has nothing to do with it. Uh, the Silver Shamrock logo on the back. And it's a slipcover, which is cool. Let's take the slipcover off. And you have the three kids in their outfits. And the masks change. And if you can see the TV, it changes as well. So that was really cool. I gotta figure out this glare system here. But anyway, uh, the back of the box is really cool too because it's as if it was an order form for the masks. So <laughs> that's really cool. Um, definitely happy I glab glab this grabbed this um, because I'm a big Halloween fan. I love the Halloween movies. I know some of them are pretty cheesy. Um, this was also the best condition box. There was three of them. Uh, and one of the boxes was pretty much crushed. The other one, the outer slip cover was crushed on the back. And I grabbed the nicest one that was there. Um, but that was pretty much the hunt today. I did go to Walmart, and this is going to be hard to put in the video, but I grabbed the G.I. Doe display for the Classic Series. Um, I went up and asked the girl. It was empty. She said, yeah, take it. Cool. So I took it, walked out, and now it's mine. Uh, I'm thinking about putting some actual old G.I. Joes on that. And trying to figure out where I'm going to put this. I might put it under my Defiant, but i got to clean up some space over there. Um, and then, you know, put it that way. Definitely a cool piece. Really nice. Glad to have it. And uh, that's it for today's uh, haul and the end of last week. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you like these short modern toy hunt videos. Uh, I like going out and hunting for stuff. And my collection is getting insane. Um, I'm going to start moving probably... Mostly the Genesis stuff. The Nintendo stuff, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with yet. But the toys are taking over. Um, I love video game stuff, and I love video games, but I'm really only going to keep the stuff I want to play and that I really, really love. Uh, but that's going to be another video. So I appreciate you guys checking everything out. Make sure you check out my other toy hunt videos, my older ones, uh, my flea market stuff, and the video game videos. I just had a video game video come out today. Um, so when you guys see this, I don't know what day of the week it's going to be, so that would have been Tuesday. Um, so go check it out. So I appreciate the support. If you guys want to check me out, uh, Instagram and Facebook links are below. And I appreciate it as always. I will catch you next time. Hasta luego.